Hello from the National Weather Service in Missoula. This is your Thursday, April 14th planning briefing. I'm Travis Booth. First look at the threat matrix. Let's see here. Yeah, the laser pointer. Uh, we're going to have snow showers ongoing, uh, today being Thursday, through the nighttime hours and then into the morning hours on Friday. So that's the reason for this, this uh, kind of a minimal impact on Friday. Our next system scheduled is Saturday, fairly widespread light to moderate snow event across the entire area. Some of that lags over into Sunday morning, as you can see in western Montana. A quiet day on Monday and then a cold front on Tuesday with snow on the passes and fairly windy conditions. Now let's look at some of the details. So what we're going to do, this is a model reflectivity forecast for this afternoon into this evening. I'm just going to step forward. You can see the showers, snow showers, pushing off to the north across the area. Now there is going to be a focus, uh, especially from I-90 southward for the greatest concentration of the showers that we see this afternoon and this evening. Uh, one thing to kind of take away from it is we definitely uh, are concerned with some of the passes like Lookout, Lolo Lost Trail, <clears throat> and then into southwest Montana, becoming snow covered at times. And also, any of the roadways, roadways across the area, it's been so cold lately that if they, if they're, you know, you have a snow shower go across and then uh, the road becomes wet, you know, so there's melting that they could easily ice up overnight, including the valleys into Friday morning. So that's something to keep in mind. So here is that, that same time period this afternoon through midday Friday, the probability of greater than two inches of snow. You can see 48% for uh, Lookout Pass, some higher totals for the, the terrain of North Central Idaho, and then um, fairly decent, you know, 50, 60, 70% chance for Lost Trail over toward like Homestake. But once again, maybe that, that may not be the, the biggest uh, takeaway impact, the snowfall amounts. More than likely, it's going to be that potential for black ice formation uh, tonight and Friday morning with those showers. Moving on to the next system, the Saturday system. Um, things start across north central Idaho on Saturday morning, and then it just spreads north northward across the area and continues uh, into early Sunday morning. Uh, definitely going to see accumulating snow on the passes. We'll look at some of those totals. Definitely concerns for wintry uh, travel conditions, especially on the passes. For the valleys from I-90 southward, it looks like we'll, we'll have a period where we'll start as snow on Saturday. Likely change over to a rain-snow mix or all rain later Saturday. And then change back over to snow on Saturday evening. And once again, those are for the valleys I-90 and southward. For northwest Montana, it looks like it most of the area will stay as all snow for this event. So looking at some actual numbers, 24-hour snow probability is greater than one inch. This is Saturday morning through Sunday morning. You can see fairly high totals, even in the valleys. You'll notice across northwest Montana, a 60, 70, 80% chance even for the valleys. Once you get I-90 and southward, you can see we get some of those lower, lower totals, 48% chance for Missoula. Uh, definitely on the terrain though, you know, uh, I-90 South, we're definitely on the terrain seeing, seeing high probabilities of, of uh, snowfall. If we look at the same time period, but greater than four inches, the uh, passes really stand out being <clears throat> Lookout, Lolo, and then Marias Pass, 60-70% chance of greater than four inches of snow. You can see, of course, the valleys, uh, very low percentage chances, but there is kind of that reflection we were talking about uh, in northwest Montana that, that uh, with them, even the valley staying mostly snowfall, that they may end up with a, a bit more than the valleys further south. So this is the 50th percentile forecast, 24-hour snowfall for that same time period, Saturday morning through Sunday morning. So you can see a lot of one to two inch totals for the valleys, and then on the passes, like four to six inches for the previous mentioned passes that were, were more favored. I'm not gonna go through each of these individually, just gonna just put these in here for reference, but these, these point snowfall and temperature forecast. Uh, so if you need to look at these, just, just pause briefly and, and take a look. We will have a few more slides at the very end related to uh, possible uh, burn periods. So we have Grangeville, 
Lolo Pass, Lost Trail Pass, Butte, McDonald Pass, Missoula, Lookout Pass, Kalispell, Libby, and Marias Pass. Now for the fire folks out there, uh, big question usually is potential burn windows. So it looks like this coming Monday, the 18th, it looks to be a, a warmer, drier day, but that's quickly followed by a cold front on Tuesday with windy conditions. We'll talk about those winds here in just a second. Uh, the next prop our chance for a, a multi-day warmer, drier period looks to be late next week, say the 20th through the 22nd. And we only have moderate confidence in that period right now. So definitely something to keep an eye on and uh, see if that holds together for now. Now to just touch briefly on those winds for Tuesday, the probability of gusts greater than 39 miles per hour. So you can see a lot of 50, 60s, and 70% chances for even the valleys in Western Montana. So it looks to be a pretty, uh, pretty windy day uh, next Tuesday. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any questions, please be in contact with us. You have a good day.